Hey guys, Magnus Rubber here, bringing you another video. Apologise if you hear fireworks in the background. It appears to be some sort of holiday where they blow up fireworks. Um, today we're of course doing the Act Three and Four review for the Simpsons Tapped Out Treehouse of Horror XXXII. So Act Three and Four, of course, are both out now. I've played through both of them. I've played through the entirety of the event now, and I'm ready to give my thoughts on both Act Three and Four. So basically, how this update is or this video, sorry, is structured is I will review Act One, then I'll look at the Act. Sorry, I review Act Three, and then we'll look at the Act Three Premium. Then I will review Act Four, look at the Act Four Premium, and then at the end of the video we'll. Briefly, just talk about the whole update, which the act was my favourite act, which is the worst, and I'll just kind of give my brief run-through of this update structure, strictly the structure. So, let's uh, jump into it without further ado, and that is with Act 3, called The Mutant Army of Dr. Hibbert. So here we are, here is the Mutant Army of Dr. Hibbert prize track. Obviously, big shout out to Wiki Simpsons for providing the little layout here that's what I always use so let's have a look at this one so I think personally just want to briefly comment about the vague structure obviously we've got multi event it's a mini event repeated four times and as a little added bonus which they appear to be doing now for every update and we've got little tapper balls and the dinosaurs now I I think I briefly commented on the dinosaurs I think honestly it's a bit too much to do it every every single part. For some weird reason, Act 1, at least for me, uh, I only had to do it for the final part, tap dinosaurs. But then for the, the rest of the acts, I had to tap it for every part. I don't know, I think personally it could be cool if it was like every two parts we get tap dinosaurs. Or maybe like just like the first part, we don't have to tap dinosaurs. I don't know. I think doing it every single part gets a bit tedious, at least for me. But maybe that's just because I'm skipping. Uh, you guys who play legitly and you know play day by day, let me know how you felt about the tapping the dinosaurs. Maybe maybe it's just me. Uh, I think that's important though for players who actually you know play it day by day uh, to see how they feel about the dinosaurs. So. Let's go through the prizes. So first up, we have the Geriatric Park Jeep. I like this one. I think it looks cool. Um, I like the fact it's added to the store. Do I think it really should have been a separate prize? This is my issue with this entire update, I guess, or one of my major issues, is I think there was too many vehicles. Like, we get the helicopter in Act 1. There's three. Uh, with, obviously, there's the monster truck, the military jeep, and the human-sized body bag truck in Act 2. Like, three vehicles. It's kind of crazy. And then in this act, we get another truck. I personally think it would have been cooler if we got some sort of building or maybe an NPC here instead. Or possibly, even if they wanted to be crazy, another character. If we were to get one of them instead, maybe Walrus Homer could be cool. Like, chuck that in to blow the act off and then give us comic book ram at the end of the thing. They've done it before. They did it with Dash Dingo and Report Card. They were in the same... Part prize, uh, prize track. I learnt that when I was doing Game of Games. So they have actually done it before. But it could have been cool if they just threw this Jeep into the store for cash. and then Or even donuts if they really wanted to be that mean. Um, and obviously this Jeep does get re-added to the store for donuts. Not a huge fan of that. I think personally, things like this... I just... I don't understand why you can't just add them as cash. You know, it'd be nice. I mean, you've already made those walls donuts... Like, so players can't even build their geriatric park without splashing out donuts. You may as well be nice and, uh, and uh, you know, pay this with cash. Next up, we have the House of Pain building. I like this one a lot. I think it looks cool. Obviously, it's from the Island of Dr. Hibbert segment. Yeah, definitely a really cool building. Thumbs up for that one. I like it a lot. Then we have the Hibbert, Hib, Hibbert, Hibbert Island Bungalow. Uh, this one's cool too. You can buy multiple of these as well in the store. There's there's plenty you can buy. I like the idea of actually being able to build your own little Dr. Hibbert's Island. So I'm actually really happy that they added this to the store and you can buy uh, multiple of them. Next up we have the Spider Bart Tree. Um, well, Spider Bart Trees. This one's cool too. Um, again, I think it would have been cooler if we maybe got a spider bar as a, at the very least as an NPC or as a separate character. Maybe they will add him later on, but I don't know if how necessary it is for spider bar. He didn't play like a big role in the episode, so maybe not. But um, yeah, still cool anyway. It's a cool little decoration, so yeah, I'll give that one a thumbs up. And then finally, we've got Comic Book Ram. 
I personally think they really should have added Walrus Homer above Comic Book Ram. I don't think Comic Book Ram is that exciting compared to Walrus Homer. I mean, even like Disco Disco Strew. Like I, I generally would prefer that to uh, Comic Book Ram. But regardless, I'm not. I don't hate it. I think it's fine. Uh, it definitely is the best thing in the prize tracks. That's for sure. But like. The prize tracks are really crappy in this event, I personally feel. So at least we've got a character at the part 5 of the prize track. At least this one actually has some structure to it. You know, you get two buildings, two decorations, one character. So at the very least, this act, despite us getting comic book RAM and not something cool like Walrus Homer, at least it's a solid act So in terms of structure. So yeah, I give the Mutant Army of Dr. Hibbert, aka Act 3, I give it a solid... Uh, uh, four Rams out of five. I don't know. Let's uh, move on to the Act 3 Premium. So, Act 3 Premium was, of course, Panther Marge with the Island... Dr. Hibbert Island Manor, was it called? Let me just double check. But yeah, Panther Marge is a pretty cool character. And the Mad Dr. Hibbert's Manor, which is what it's called. Uh, I do think it looks a bit generic. I'm kind of sick of getting these villas and manors. They all look the same to me. Like, this one looks like... Look at the Van Houten Villa compared to this one. It, They look like slightly different, but not too much different. I don't know. I'm getting a bit bored of Manus, not going to lie. So this one's not that special to me. But certainly, uh, Panther Marge is a unique character. Now, I personally think both Comic Book Ram and Panther Marge should have just been costumes. I mean, like, that's what the characters are turned into by Dr. Hibbert. They are their real life, you know, they're their real life Simpsons characters. Uh, it, within this universe where Dr. Hibbert's this mad scientist and they're turned into these animals. Therefore, I think they should be costumes. I think like that should be the 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 way they do it. So like say for example we follow you know like Mozart the Mozart segment where Bar is basically Mozart. Well in that case Bar uh, Mozart should be added as a separate character because although he looks like Bar, it makes sense. But like this one I feel like they should have just been added as uh, costumes, not characters. It's really weird. They're so inconsistent when it comes to what becomes a costume, what becomes a character. It gets really annoying sometimes. But yeah, Pamper Marge, I do think she's cool no matter what. I, 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 despite her being a character and me probably wanting her to be a costume, I do think she's a very cool character. Uh, that's my only negative, really. She should be a costume, and the manner, I think, looks so generic. But uh, yeah, that's the Act 3 Premium. Not too bad. Act 4. Oof. So Act 4 was of course titled Better Fighting Through Science. So this act is so weird. It's based on the 50 the invasion of the 50 foot eyesore segment but also that Honey I Shrunk the Kids one where they go inside uh, is it Homer's body or Mr. Burns body? I, I actually forget. I forget. I think it's it's Mr. Burns body, right? Um yeah, so really weird that they've based on like two segments, uh, even though this segment has kind of been based on the whole dinosaur segment the whole time. So it's, it's just like, it's, it's such a bunch of stuff. I mean, they make it work. I think the quest line's not too bad to tie it all together. Uh, it certainly could be better, but, you know. So let's go for the prize track. So the first prize is, of course, the Peace Marker Ray Gun. So it kind of shows up as this like little statue thing, but when you tap it, it turns into a big ray gun. I actually like this one. I think it's a cool enough decoration, and I think it's justified being in the prize track. So, uh, yeah, I'm happy enough with that. The next one is the Sentient Red Devil Realty sign. I like this dude. I think he's cool. However, I'll be brutally honest. I generally think, why not just give him tasks? Like, wh why make him an NPC? I'm happy that he was at least added, but I don't know. I kind of would have liked a bit, a few more of the 50 foot eyesores uh, for me personally, and uh, I definitely think this guy could have got could have been given tasks. Um, because we, we're getting the other item we get is obviously a costume. Later on, we get the costume for Marge. So if you have a costume for Marge and a full playable character, that's a pretty good trade off, you know. And you're still making the the one that people want, which is the lard, the sentient lard lad, you're still making that premium. I don't know. I just think personally, it would have been cool to have him have tasks. I, yeah, I, especially for this prize track, it just would have spiced the update up a little bit. So, um, yeah, that's what I've decided. <laughs> the next prize is the New Invention Expo. Yeah, this one's a nice looking building. I quite like it. I know it looks a bit similar to things we've got in the past, but I think it's unique enough to. Uh, 
stand out. I actually like it a lot. So, yeah, I'm very happy with that one, actually. Yeah, thumbs up for that building. It's actually really nice. The next prize is Bionaut Marge. Now, Bionaut Marge as a costume, um, what's my opinions on it? Uh, uh, the animations are fine, I guess. The actual look of the costume is pretty boring. Uh, the quest line for it was... I didn't care for, so... Um, honestly, overall, it's meta bad. It's it's a meta bad. It's it's like it's not offensively terrible, but it's not good either. <laughs> and then finally, the Bionaut ship. I think it looks cool enough. It's fine. Um, I don't I don't love it. Don't don't hate it. Um, I don't think it's meh. I think it's meh. Eh. You know, it's it, <laughs> that's how I can express my thoughts on it. I like it. It's fine. Um, now, I actually am cool with the structure of this one. I think it works out with the quest line. Although I'm not a massive fan of the quest line itself, I think in terms of what they did, I think the structure's fine for this. Having the Bionaut Marge be the second to last prize and the Bionaut Ship be the last prize, I think it works, especially considering we're getting, uh, an, at the very least, we're getting an NPC in this prize track too. So, yeah, I'm, I was happy enough with this this structure as well, The part, this part. I think Act 3 and 4 definitely uh, definitely do well in terms of the actual basic structure. So let's finally talk about the Act 4 Premium. So we've got the giant sentient lard lad with the Van Burnt and Churchill Ad Agency, I think it was called. Yeah, the Van Burn and Churchill Ad Agency. Now, I actually like the Ad Agency building right, right off the bat. I think that one is actually a quite a nice looking building. I actually like the building a lot. I, I, I dare may say I prefer the building to the character. S somewhat. I don't know. I like the sentient lord lad. I think he is pretty cool. Um, He's definitely an awesome character. I do think he should have been bigger. I agree with that. A lot of people saying he should have been a bit bigger. I generally think he was good. I kind of thought he'd be about the size of Paul Bunyan. Uh, but comparing them, I think Paul Bunyan's a tiny bit taller. So... Yeah, I, de I definitely think having him be taller should have been um, bigger, should have been a should have been a priority. Also, his animations are a little lackluster. I'm cool with the one where he's eating the donuts and then like opening his body and whipping out more donuts. I'm fine with that one. I think it's kind of cool. However, there definitely should have been for his rampage one. He should have had the big donut, you know, like wheeling the donut around. And instead of standing in one place, he should have been moving around the town, you know, kind of causing destruction, throwing his donut around, maybe like wheeling it back and forth. That, I, I kind of agree with that. I think it's a little lackluster for that other animation. Um, his quest line was a bit meh. I mean, it was, it was fine. It wasn't terrible, terrible, but I, I kind of wanted more from it. So, honestly, he's a bit of a letdown, I'll say it, but he does look awesome. So, he'll always get the... He, the look is always down for me, apart from maybe he could have been a bit bigger. But, yeah, I don't know. Um, I don't I don't want to, like, completely write his character off. I still... I do think there, like, are redeeming qualities to to this character. I do think it's, like, really cool to have the, the Lord Lad mascot, a big Lord Lad mascot running around. So, I definitely don't hate this character. I don't think he's bad. I just don't think he was... As amazing as we initially thought he would be, which is a is a bit of a shame. However, the building he comes with, I actually really think it, it. I think it pops out quite nice. I actually think it's probably the best building of this update for me personally. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of the dinosaur buildings don't really get me too much. I'm like fine with them. Uh, the house of pain looks fine. I, I mean, looks good. The new invention, the new invention expo actually looks really nice. I like that one. Rats court mall. Rats court mall is cool too. Um. Yeah, no, I generally think Van Burnt and Churchill Light Agency is my favourite building. Just quickly glancing over all the buildings, yeah. So, that's a good feature, still. So, you know, we often forget about the buildings in terms of these character uh, combos. And, yeah, sometimes there are some really good ones. So, that's my opinions on the giant sentient lard lad. So, overall, what do I think of Act 3 and 4? Well, honestly, I think Act 3 and 4 are actually not so bad. Act 3 is definitely um, a little strong. Actually, hmm, debatable. I'm trying to think. Yeah, I, yeah, I'd say Act 3 is a little stronger. Act 4 is behind it, for sure. The thing is, like, Act 3, we get, like, one 
a decoration that I do think is cool. However, I just would have preferred it if it was in the store. But, you know, it still is a cool decoration. Uh, two pretty decent buildings. One decoration I'm like, eh, on. That's the spider bark trees. And then comic book ram, who I think is, um, yeah, it, meh. But he's fine, I guess. And then act actor f four has... Ah, two two good anime, two good decorations. I like both the Bionaut ship and the Peacemaker Raygun, uh, Marker Raygun. Sorry, not Maker Marker. And the NPC in the cat, the costume, the NPC in the costume a bit meh. But the new Invention Expo is like a really cool building. So I don't know. I think they definitely have both good things. I'd probably say Act Three is better though than Act Four. And then in terms of overall, I think Act Two is the worst. Act One is probably the second worst. So yeah, these two are the strongest acts for me personally. Um, but yeah, that is it for this video, pretty much. There's not much more to say. Um, God, I think there was something else I wanted to mention before, but I've completely forgot it. So we'll just uh, we'll just wrap it up here. I'll maybe I'll, if I if I if I remember, I'll maybe mention it in the content list video. But anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. See you next one. Goodbye.